An AI tool being tested in Scotland has identified tiny breast cancer tumours in 11 women, which had been missed by doctors. The technology was piloted alongside National Health Service clinicians and analysed the mammograms of more than 10,000 women. Our technology editor Zoe Kleiman has more details. So this is one of the extra cancers that was picked up by the AI. That is so tiny. Yes, it is indeed. And it, you can see why uh, two human readers would have just looked through, compared it. It looks very much the same and would have said that that's normal. Here in Aberdeen, Dr Gerald Lipp has just led the first NHS evaluation of an artificial intelligence tool called MIA, designed to help improve breast cancer diagnosis. The initial results are encouraging. It's almost like another colleague and uh, someone has a, a second sort of second opinion looking over your shoulder and helping you. So one human reader and then the AI doing the next read, we could turn, move our turnaround time from 14 days down to three days. And you know that anxiety, if you've had a mammogram or any tests in the hospital, I've had tests, you're kind of waiting on that result and you want to know it as soon as you can. So anxiety and, uh, and sort of is another factor in this as well that we want to try and reduce. Barbara's cancer was so tiny, Dr Lip and his team didn't spot it, but Mia did. I'm just incredibly grateful. If I hadn't had that, then I don't know when I would have found it. The early diagnosis meant that Barbara needed shorter and less invasive treatment. She told me without AI, her tumour might not have been spotted for another three years at her next routine scan, by which point it would have been a lot bigger and might have spread. You say cancer and they say, oh, I'm so sorry. And I felt a fraud because it was so small. It's just so easy. There's no extra appointment or anything. And then when you have the operation, it's at a very early stage. So it's minimal compared to what it could be. AI is good at this when it's properly trained to spot early, tiny symptoms of a specific disease. But this isn't perfect yet. It has a tendency to over-diagnose. And also, because of current health guidelines, it's not allowed to learn on the job and evolve as it's used. Right now, this tech is still being researched. Mir was built by the medical firm Kieran and runs on computing power from Microsoft. It was fed millions of images of scans from women around the world to enable it to recognise specific signs of potential breast cancer. Within five years, some experts say AI will routinely be used in cancer diagnosis. I struggled to see some of the symptoms Dr Lip showed me and I only looked at a few of them. Currently, human specialists analyse up to 10,000 scans per year. The hope is that AI tech like Mia might one day reduce that workload and the strain that goes with it. Zoe Kleinman, BBC News.